Hi everybody, this is Bobby from My Life Blogged, and what I want to show you today is how to use your own fonts in PicMonkey without installing them into your Windows font folder. Before I get started, let me just say that sometimes I do use um a lot, and sometimes I stumble over my words. Please don't hold it against me and stop the video because I really think you're going to find it useful and I can't help it it's just sometimes what I do <laughs> so let's get started and the reason why I want to show you how to do this is because I noticed when PicMonkey first started offering this service of you using your own fonts in PicMonkey that a lot of people on Facebook groups on Facebook pages and around the web were encouraging other people to download and install fonts into their Windows font folder on their computer. Normally that's okay if you want to install a few fonts that you use all the time. Like I um, do install like fonts for holidays that I know that I really like but I, I may not find it next year or fonts that I use in web design I will install into my computer so I know where they are however when you are installing hundreds of fonts into that Windows font um, folder on your computer it's going to drag your computer down eventually because your fonts from Windows are pulled into all of your programs that you use such as Word or Photoshop or WordPad Excel, any kind of editing program or word program that you have, it's going to pull those fonts, even your email. So if you have hundreds of fonts in that Windows font folder and they're being pulled in all these programs, eventually it's going to slow down the computer and it's it's going to drive you batty because you're not going to understand why your computer is being slowed down so much. So, but on the upside there is a way to get around this and a way to use whatever font you want to use in PicMonkey without dragging your computer down and that's what I want to show you today so let's get started um, the program you will need is called Nexus font it's a free download I will include the link in the blog post if you came over from the blog post or if you just found me on YouTube then the link will be below in the description box there are several font viewers available for free or paid my favorite just happens to be Nexus font because it does everything that I need it to do and it's free however you may like something different so feel free to play around with them also just to let you know um, a couple of things is that you will need to pull up your Nexus font and your fonts before you open up PicMonkey if you don't open up Nexus font first the fonts are not going to show up in PicMonkey at least that's what happens on my computer now a lot of other people may be doing the same thing and they're like oh well I don't have to do that well just for my computer I have to do it so I felt obligated to tell you to go ahead and pull up your Nexus font before you open up PicMonkey or open up your picture to edit so that's what I'm going to go ahead and do and before we get started I want to show you my font folder so you will see that I have pulled up Nexus font however the fonts are not in my folder my Windows font folder as you can see I do have a few that are in here that I have um, installed for you know because I use them a lot but most of them are regular Windows font folders that are Windows fonts that come with the computer or with whatever program that did come with fonts that I've installed okay so now that I've showed you that we're going to go ahead and do this it's going to be super easy we're going to open up Google and we're going to open up PicMonkey and we're going to pull in a picture to edit. I'm just going to choose a random picture because I didn't do one just for this particular tutorial. And my computer's running a little slow because the internet's a little slow today. So just bear with me. So I'm going to just pick a picture of the doggy. And I'm going to go to text.
and I'm going to go to yours and I want to show you when you pull up Nexus font beside it there is the fonts there's about you there is the Adornada you go down there's agency so as you can see all the fonts that are in my fonts folder are in PicMonkey now and I didn't have to install them into my Windows font folder and I'll go back and show you that one more time so you can see that I did not install them see there's no about you there's no Adornanata it's all just the same font so I did not install them into my Windows um, fonts folder and the good thing about Nexus is that you can um, you can do folders. I'm not going to show you how to use the program because Nexus has some really great tutorials and videos to show you how to use the program. But one of my favorite features, and I want to show you real quick, so you can um, you can see how easy it is to do or and to keep organized, is that you can add your own folders. So if you look over on my desktop, you'll see that I have these two folders right here and they go into my fonts but you can organize them any way you want say you want to do um, a, a folder for dingbats or you want to do a folder for um, scripty fonts or a folder for chunky fonts you can organize all of your folders and if you click on my fonts it's going to show you every font that's in these folders however um, if you don't want to see all those fonts and you can just click one folder and the good thing about it is is that PicMonkey if you refresh will only show the fonts in that particular folder when you go back so that's pretty awesome I really love that feature that I can organize my fonts into separate folders and add them and then you know that way I can find a scripty font or a chunky font chunky font right when I want it I don't have to go through thousands of, of fonts you know and and to be honest um, I actually have over a hundred and fifty thousand fonts on my external um, these are not these are just ones that I really really love and I use quite often but if you love to download fonts then this is definitely the program for you because you can separate all of them and not have a hundred and fifty thousand fonts in one folder and when you go back to PicMonkey whatever folder you chose is what fonts is going to show up in PicMonkey so it's real easy and you do not have to um, install all those fonts into your Windows font folder and it won't slow you down I hope you learned something and I hope you at least try the the program out um, and see if it works for you you know and these fonts can also show up in every other program that you use like if you want different fonts for Photoshop you pull up your Nexus font and it will um, the fonts will show up there too so it's not just PicMonkey it's for all of your programs that you use that you can use different fonts your email etc so have a good day and um, if you have any questions please feel free to ask me I will answer them the best I can um, feel free to shoot me an email there's a contact email on um, mylife-blogged.com so have a great day and I'll see you next video